This past Saturday, I did a video called Masking in Lightroom. In that video, I talked about all the different tools that are available in Lightroom to mask an image. And I offered all my little tips and techniques to help you most effectively use those tools. This morning, I woke up to a comment. The person commenting mentioned a technique that they learned. This technique is so good, I had to do a video and share it with you. The person who made the comment is, goes by the handle Dr. Pentecost. So thank you, Dr. Pentecost, for mentioning this. I think it's awesome, and I think it will help a lot of people. Now, Dr. Pentecost mentioned that they learned the technique from someone else, but they didn't mention who. And I'd like to give credit where credit is due. So if anyone knows who might have originated this technique, write it in the comment below so we could give them credit. Now, the technique involves auto masking in the brush. And you may remember in that video I did Saturday, I used this image. So we'd open up the brush and I mentioned you click auto mask. And what you want to do is get a brush and go along the edge of the object that you, do, you want to mask around. So this way you don't affect the object. You're just affecting the area that you want to mask away. And I mentioned that this technique works best if the area you're masking away is very uniform in color, texture, and tone. In the case of this uniform blue sky, you could see it is. Well, Dr. Pentecost's technique that they mentioned involves one click. So you don't have to do all this drawing, careful drawing around your object. To do it, what you need to do is, while you're in the develop module, go to the left panel and go to a 1 to 8 view. If you don't see 1 to 8 over here at the top, click this little drop down and click 1 to 8. So we have a smaller image. What you're going to want to do is get a hard brush. So take feather all the way down. Make sure auto mask is checked. In this case, I'm just taking exposure all the way up. And, you know, whatever adjustment you want to do, you would do. Then get a brush that is larger than the image. In this case, because I want to get rid of all that blue sky. Or if, like the blue sky is the entire image, left to right, top to bottom. But if you, the part you want to affect is smaller, just make sure that the brush is bigger than the part you want to affect. And I'll demonstrate that more in a second. Now, I want to affect that blue sky. Simply put the plus sign over the blue sky and click once. And you'll notice it takes a second to render. There we have it totally masked out. I'll go back to fit. And once it renders, it takes a second. There you go. Look at that. It masked away the blue sky perfectly. Isn't this an awesome technique? Now, I played around with it a little. So I went to another image su such as this, something a little more complicated. Uh, obviously, the leaves and everything are there. So, same technique, I'm going to go to 1 to 8. And for this one, let's, uh, well, let's leave exposure up. And we'll go on the blue sky, our, our brush is larger than the image. And I'm clicking once on the blue sky. And you can see it did a pretty good job. It didn't do such a good job around the tree, but it did pretty good. I'm going to go to fit. And you could come in and try to affect these areas better. Like click once there like that, click over here. See, it's a little patchy, but it's a lot faster, isn't it? A lot more effective. Now in this image, I probably wouldn't do that, but maybe I would um, take saturation up. So you can see it's, it's pretty effective. It works very well. Now, Dr. Pentecost mentioned, now I'm saying Dr. Pentecost, I don't know if this person's a doctor or not, they go by that handle. But at any rate, they mentioned that um, if you want to do like skin softening or something like that, what you'd like to do, um, let's go to the drop down and let's go to uh, soften skin. Let's go to the more uh, robust version, soften skin right there, not light. Uh, get the hard brush again and get the brush just larger than the person's face. And then click once. And it, it works best, I, I should add, on an evenly lit face like this image here. So we'll click once. And look, at it just does it right really quickly. And you might have to come in with the eraser and fix it if it hit the hair anywhere, the eyebrows. But it really, it really did a good job. As I go over, you could see uh, when I put the mask overlay on, you could see where it affected. So it did a pretty good job. Um, and I, again, I used the uh, stronger version of the softened skin preset. Uh, probably wouldn't go that strong in general. 
but you get the idea. So it's a great technique. Again, thank you, uh, Dr. Pentecost, for um, mentioning it. In the description below this video, I'll have a link to that original video that I'm talking about, masking in Lightroom, in case you haven't seen it. But try this technique. I really think it's awesome. And I'm really, really mad at myself for not thinking of it. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.